Hi guys, just want to do a quick uh, video. I'm titling this April in the uh, allotment. Just to um, show you what's been going on lately. Um, I, 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 I know I've been behind on the podcast, so that's going to be one coming up soon. But uh, yeah, uh, it's not just to show you what's going on lately, it's also to show you things that are happening. Uh, right, here shadows in the way a bit but uh, this was the strawberry bed I've now dug that up because strawberries weren't doing brilliant uh, I've manured it and I've added this bit of wood just as a border uh, and I've put some Welsh onion and some, some soil in there some red leaved soil so um, it'll be quite tasty now um, I'm going to fill this up with a few more herbs as I go along and, and time gets by in here, we we'll just open this up and see there's a few seedlings, cork cucumbers and chilies and peppers. These are ones that have been growing at home. And there's a few of the cauliflowers and things in here, but also some that I brought from a, a garden centre. Just um, we're just growing on quite nicely in here. While well, uh, I'm going to fill this up with some horsemen in these boxes soon. I've got a little box just here of nettles to make nettle, uh, let's get a good view of it, make nettle tea with. Just filled it up, just growing wildly, or well, growing around here. Still got to slowly cut it all back, but we're getting there. Right, here I've just got a couple of hanging baskets, I've got to hang these up. I'll put some strawberry plants in these just for the time being. This is the, uh, the herb garden. As you can see, this, uh, I think, is it oregano? No, it's marjoram. It's just growing like mad. The chives are starting to flower really lovely. The sage is taking on really well. And the rosemary and the lemon balm and the mints all just growing really well. This is the uh, bottom bed. I've got some uh, uh, wasabi just gone in there, and then I've just planted these just now. These are cup, uh, some uh, Swiss chard. They're going nicely. Uh, and I'll, I'll give those a good water in. That black pipe I'll come to in a second. This bed is the same. All the brick black black pipe, as you can see. Raw beans are all growing in there, as long with a few peas. And uh, what I find interesting is all these raw beans were sown at different times. Uh, and okay, these ones are the older ones and they are slightly bigger, but there's not much in it. But these peas are doing fantastic down this end. Got to get some supports in. Uh, potatoes, lots of bags of potatoes you can see. Gonna give these a good watering in a bit, but they are uh, really doing well. The earlier ones are the home guard, they've done fantastic. One of my apple trees, and I just wanted to show you this in flower. As is that cherry tree, these two are in pots, but they are just coming along. So we take a walk up to the next bed. This perpetual spinach, I've, I've moved down further to the end. Got a few uh, leeks just in there. There's some shallots that have saved seed, uh, elephant garlic, and all the other types of garlic that are doing really well. Although the ones down the end there are showing signs of leek rust, so I'm going to have to uh, cut those back and uh, uh, sort those out. But I think they're going to be ready soon. Okay, it needs a good. That's the onion bed, onion and shallots. It needs a good. Uh, weed which I'm hoping to do soon uh, but as you can see it's doing quite well this bed is currently empty it's going to be the rustic bed here I've got some soap, direct soap with some uh, radishes turnips carrots just a small just to get started they're going to need thinning out soon but uh, they've, they've, they've sprouted in, in position and that whole bed is going to have all those. The comfrey, that's just doing well. Start making some comfrey feed out of that soon. 
and a rhubarb has just gone mad this year. Um, some of it's nearly ready, I'm pleased to say. Uh, a mineral place for that. Now this black tube, and you've probably seen it scattered around. And what they've done, I come up to this water butt at the top here, just runs on a timer. And let gravity just water it. Um, and that just, just waters the beds while I'm not here. Ten minutes twice a day. No, I was trying to show you all these geese and currants are in flower. You can probably just see them. Same as the Jostaberry just there. And these are just growing back. There's a couple of apple stepovers. They're growing mad. I've got to de-weed this area, which is a uh, something I've got to concentrate on soon. Raspberries are showing signs of life. Blueberries are doing well. This blueberry is in flower, as is that cherry. There's some lovely ones in the pond. Hazel. Any in. Some more raspberries here. The hazel, that's that's coming along quite well. And that plum, fantastic. Now I think from my last video, this bit wasn't here. This is the uh, that's the elderberry tree, elderberry bush that's growing, taking leaves, so that's obviously established well. Walnut, a bit worried about, and doesn't seem to be doing much. And down here, this is my slope. Also, it doesn't seem to be doing much yet, but it's early. This is one of the banana trees, doesn't seem to be doing much. But we'll see, I'm keeping an eye. So that's it. Let's say I'll get a uh, oh, let's just do that globe artichoke as well. There, it's doing well, looking good. As I say, I'm, I'm a bit behind on the recorder podcast, but I'll try and get it out to you as soon as I can. So, please visit the website, the Veg Power Podcast. <laughs>